In this video, we're going to create this travel website with the hover effects and a search bar like this. Let's get into it. To start the project, open a new folder on your desktop and open that up in VS Code. I already set my files. I have this background image that you can find the link in the description. Create a index.html and a style.css. Let's also create the boilerplate as well. Let's call it travel website and link that style sheet real quick and also we're gonna use one simple icon from box icons so open up the website go to usage and copy and paste this right under the style sheet and leave it there and also the styling you're gonna reset the padding and the margin and set the font to poppins and box sizing border box and we can start with the html let's first create the container and then inside we're gonna create the nav gonna put a anchor tag for the logo and also give it a class of logo let's say wanderers travel and also we're going to create a unordered list with three items inside let's say travel places to visit and contact and to right under we're gonna create a button with the class of btn let's say bookings and we're gonna put a small icon in here so let's open up box icons i'm gonna search for plane let's copy that I'm gonna copy the font copy this and paste it inside here and let's also open this HTML file with live server there you go and also we're gonna give this first one a class of active and let's style this navbar and then we're gonna keep going with the rest let's style the container first with 100% minimum height 100vh background image image I'm gonna copy paste my linear gradient from here real quick and background size is going to be cover and padding 10 pixel 8% and now bar is going to be with 100% display flex align item center justify content space between to put space between those items and padding 10 pixel 0 and let's style the logo as well I'm gonna say position relative font size 34 font weight 400 and cursor pointer text decoration none I'm gonna make it white I'm gonna give it a transition as well because of the hover effect it's also at the hover effect I'm gonna make it a bit bigger when you hover over it so scale 1.1 also the nav unordered list is going to be list style none with 100% text align center and padding right is going to be 60 pixels the list items they are going to be inline block and margin is going to be 30 to 20 and the anchor tags are going to be white with the size of 20 pixels text decoration none as well and also it's going to and we're gonna give it a transparent border because of the hover effect and also the transition as well with the font weight of 500 and let's add the hover effect say border bottom 3 pixel solid white let's see if it's working there you go and let's style that button as well say display flex line item center padding 1020 0 outline 0 font size 20 border radius 5 pixel and we're gonna give it this nice 
green-ish color. Color white, font weight 500 and what else? And let's make the cursor pointer when you hover over it and also the transition 0 0.3 let's add the hover effect as well same as the other button 1.05 and let's see are we going to make this first anchor tag a different color so let's say that same color and border bottom the same color as well and what else and also we're gonna style that icon real quick that button i is going to be width 20 and margin right 10 pixel let's see it works fine yeah that is it with the navbar so let's add the content as well so right under the navbar we're gonna create a div called content say h1 travel to places i'm gonna put a break that you want to see let's make that capital as well and we're gonna put a paragraph of lorem let's put a small form as well right underneath and say input type is going to be text and placeholder country name and button is going to be a submit button with the class of btn i'm gonna say search and right under there we're gonna add the image the plain image that i have you can also find this in the description and if you give it a quick look it looks horrible so let's start it say content margin top 10 percent color white and max width 700 pixels and the h1 is going to be font size 70 font weight 600 i'm gonna give it a line height of 90 pixels and margin bottom it's going to be 20 pixels let's also style the form as well I'm gonna say display flex align item center background white small border radius padding of 10 pixel and a little space at the top content form input Border 0, outline 0 with 100%, font size 16, and a little space on the left. Font size 15, padding 10, 30, and finally the image, gonna give it a width of 950. And also we're going to flip it to the other side saying 180 degrees position absolute right 50 and top 18 percent so let's see how everything's looking and it looks nice everything is in the place hover effects work and that is it thank you guys for watching and see you next time